Hey, what's up YouTube? Today, I'm gonna to show you how to connect your MongoDB database to your MERN application if you're using Express.js. Okay guys, so let's just get right into it. I'm gonna show you my screen real quick, minimize myself. And so far, I just created a React app inside of a client folder. And we're gonna set this up like you should if you're running a full stack app. You're probably most likely doing a MERN stack with Mongo, Express, React, and Node.js. So we're gonna create a new folder at the root and we're gonna call it server. And then inside the server, we need a main file, which we will call server.js. Then we need to set up express and a few other packages. So the first package we need is express. So we're gonna go CD into the server. And now we're in the server folder. Make sure you are in the server, not client. And we're gonna do NPM install express. And then after this installs successfully, we are going to import it into our core file and make sure you are doing this syntax because it is different than the regular um, React app. And then we need to also initialize it as well. And then there's one more package too that we do need to download and that's gonna be .env. But before we do that, let's initialize it. So const app equals express we initialize express and then the other package i'm download real quick which we will use for later is a dot env file because if we're, if we were going to do this properly you're going to have a few secret keys from mongodb that should be hidden inside of your environment variables so make sure you're in the server what well, again and we're going to do npm install dot env essentially this allows you to connect env files to your express.js files so we're gonna have to go above and let me make sure i have the right syntax so it's gonna be require and then dot env and then dot config dot config okay okay so the next step we are going to do is we actually are going to go to mongo db.com and either you're going to log into your account if you have Google or GitHub or you create an account. I'm just going to log right into my Google account. And if you have a brand new account, your screen might look a little different. There will be no projects, but the first thing we are going to do is we are going to create a new project. So right here at the top left, let me zoom in. Cool. All right. So here at the top left is where all your projects are. We're gonna select new project. And then we're gonna give this a unique name. So we just put YouTube tutorial for myself. Next, it's gonna ask if you wanna add members and set permissions. We're gonna skip this and we're just gonna create the project. After the project is created, we have to build a database. And also it's gonna make us at our current IP eventually. But right now, the good thing about MongoDB is you could use a free plan. Obviously, if you don't have a lot of data, the more data you use, you're gonna have to pay per data, in a sense. Um, we could keep with AWS. Make sure you select your region that's closest to you. I am on the East Coast. You can name this whatever you want. I'm just gonna keep it as cluster zero, and then we're gonna create, click create, okay? Here's another important step you don't wanna miss. This allows for the connection to happen between your server and Mongo DB, which is Mongoose. Um, so we're gonna keep the username. I will do B Westwood 11. And then I'm gonna copy this password or you could press auto generate and then press create user. Before you do this though, make sure you remember this password because you are gonna need it inside of your VS code editor or whatever text editor you have. So create user. And now it shows up here that the user was created. And for now, we're just gonna do the local environment. And all you have to do is add your IP address. Since I already have done this in the past, it automatically adds it for me right here. It will be blurred out, obviously. And then after that, you're just gonna press finish and close. Congratulations on setting up your access rules. We could hide the quick start guide. And then we're just gonna go straight to the database. And this will take 
a few minutes to create. And after it's done created, you will see at the top left right here, the name you named at the beginning. And then you should be able to like browse the collections, which is where your data is going to be. But the main thing we're going to do is we're going to connect this. So we are going to make sure we do all this correct. So when we press connect right here on the right, we are going to connect your application. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to connect it in Node.js version 4.1 or later. And this is what we got to copy and paste in to our application code. So let me just pull up a notepad because I do have um, the actual passcode saved as a copy paste. So let me just make sure I still have that saved. So paste your password in your notepad. We're going to minimize this. And this is how we're going to add our connection. But before we add the connection, I'm going to open up the VS Code Editor again. And we are going to install Mongoose. We need Mongoose to connect to MongoDB. Let me make sure I'm spelling that right. No, I'm not. And if you do want to make sure you're installing all these right, you could just go to your package JSON. I've installed Express, .env, and Mongoose. Cool. All right. So now we just have to import it onto our main app. Okay. And the way we're going to connect Mongoose to our application is we are going to use the method here. So we could just put DB for database. That's very common. You could type in the full word database. And then underneath we are going to use mongoose. And then if you press dot, it should give you um, options, but obviously sometimes it doesn't. That's just how the code editor is. And we're we'll connect it to that string. So let me pull mongoDB back up. This string right here, we're going to copy, go back in VS Code, and we are going to create inside of the server, we are going to create a new file, which is going to be a .env. And we can name this, let me see what I name it on my other packages so I could be consistent. We can name this mongo underscore URL equals, and then we're going to paste that code. And then that password that we saved in our notepad, right where it says password right here, we're going to replace it with our password. So make sure you keep that semicolon. Nope. So there's our password. And make sure, obviously, you don't want anybody to see this. I don't care about this project, but we're going to close the env file and then connect to it. We're going to have to press process.env dot and then whatever we named it, mongo underscore URL. Okay. And also too, when you do um, add anything to an env file, you should reset your server. Okay, so now we're going to make sure the connection is actually secured. Let me just go back to MongoDB. We could close this and we could go back to our code editor. And the way we could do this is we could do mongoose.connect. And then we could also add dot then. And then we could console log. Pretty much just a quote and we could say db connected. And then if it isn't connected, we're gonna have to catch an error. ER. Oh. And we could console log the error now. Or we could just put db not connected. Okay. So the next step we have to do is make sure you do npm init inside of your server folder, which I already have done. Um, and it gives you the script. So we're going to have to start with the script. The next thing you could do is you could install Nodemon, which keeps your server and tracks your server constantly every time you edit it. So if any error pops up, you should see it in your terminal down here.
But down here, we're just going to go to our scripts after, and it's npm start, which is going to be a node server.js. So we can just put to npm start. And the code we should get, if it works, is db connected. The reason why is because if it's true, then we're going to console log db connected. And if it's an error, it'll be db not connected. So as you can see here, our database is connected and Mongoose is ready to use in your MERN application. So let me go over a few things real quick. A few common issues that people usually have. Number one is they do not install the package.env. So if you don't install the package.env, this server.js file can't connect to your env file. So if you don't have that installed, it's you're going to have a database not connected. Another thing too that a lot of people forget is adding the password here where it says password. So make sure you add the password and make sure it's the correct password. And then after you also edit an env file, you must restart your server. You could do that by pressing control C, terminate batch, and then you could start it again. And then npm start, server runs, db database connected. Um, if you have any other questions about it, it's pretty straightforward. Just comment them down below. I'll be happy to answer them. But this is how you connect MongoDB to your application.